How y'all doing? Today, about your consistency. What do you think has led to that, this training camp, and how high is that on the list of things you want to accomplish out here? Um, it's, it's, it's always an, a, pri a priority, and it's always a goal. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've... I don't think there's been any difference um, in how I've been this whole time in my whole career in terms of my goals and um, my approach, my intent towards practice and and how it's been. So, you know, I've just always tried to strive to be the best I can be and continue to learn and continue to positively affect the people around me. Yeah, I'd rather not uh, talk about that. I don't think it's really appropriate, considering if it were up to me, I wouldn't know about it. No one would know about it, so um, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I think, you know, just everybody everybody doing their role. I think everybody being um, at point, on point, and doing their job and what they're asked to do. Um, and that's start with myself. So, you know, there's at any point that the ball can go to anyone. And so it's just the expectation of the ball coming your way, being able, being re able and ready to make the play uh, when it's your turn, so. How would you, how would you assess like, the first week of how you're going in training camp? I mean, do you kind of get the sense that your comfort level with all the guys around you is really kind of led to I just think, you know, it's, it's just a day-by-day -day thing, you know, um, it's a day-by-day -day thing, it's a day-by-day -day journey. You know, we come out here, we practice hard, I, you know, I try and practice my best and treat practice as a game, but um, in the end, man, it's, um, it's a day-by-day -day thing where we're always learning, we're always growing, and we're always challenging one another, so that's the goal every day. The goal every day is to, you know, get better every day um, and put something in and invest in yourself every day, so it's just embracing that. Are there ways that this year feels different? It's my fourth year. I never had a fourth year before, um, so it's just a it's just a change of time, you know. Just change of time, but you know the standard is the standard. You know, I said that you know goals may change, um, aesthetic of things may change, but standards don't. How are the personalities in the quarterback room different with Alex instead of Ryan and Marcus instead of Ryan? Yeah, we got somebody that went to Stanford. And we got somebody that's a Heisman Trophy winner. Um, and then we have, uh, you know, Ian and going to Notre Dame. So, you know, have, have a ton of different personalities, and everybody has the same goal in trying to be the best that they can be. Um, there's great conversation going on in there. And, um, you know, I, I enjoy being in, th being in there with them and kind of having a, a youthful uh, mindset there, and we're all, we're all growing. I think that's the beauty of it, you know, and I, I've always talked about that with. AJ and Devontae and um, some of the other guys that are kind of on the, you know, earlier end of it, if you will. But um, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful to see um, just our our approach to the whole entire process and and just attacking it, and that we're able to do that together. Speaking of the group, Nick said today that you guys are having deeper conversations in the quarterback room. What about this group going on? Yeah, I think it comes with um, I think it comes with experience and time, and that's something that um, that's something that comes from me and what I what I do in my approach. So it's it's all based off the experience that I have, and you're able to open new doors, have new conversations, and um, test things out and see what fits. But in the end, it's all about putting a good um, piece of work on the field, and so that's 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 always our goal. I read that you uh, told the NFL Network that there's a sense of urgency. Um, I just think there's a sense of urgency, um, you know, as a team and I think as leaders, um, myself and other leaders on the team, that's something that we try and set the pace of and set the temperature of and that, you know, you know, have that urgency to get better, never settle and just keep going. And so we're talking about what practice number five today, practice number five, you know, we're just chipping, by the, chip, chipping one day at a time, chipping one day at a time. I know you used Jonathan Gannon as a resource the last couple of years. Have you been using Sean Desai so far, and what's that relationship been like? Yeah, we've been able to catch up and talk um, 
kind of tell me some of his philosophical, um, some of his philosophical beliefs, uh, philosophical beliefs. There we go. Um, some of his beliefs and uh, just kind of get better and learn that way. You know, I'm a, you know, uh, I, I, I'm a competitor, and you know, I I want to I want to continue to learn and grow um, and soak in as much as I can. Um, so he's he's been a resource in that. I do. Well, I think um, I think that's twofold. I think for a long time, um, you know, the, the world told guys like me that they couldn't process and they couldn't um, have that approach to the game and um, you know have the um, fundamental and uh, mental awareness to you know execute and play the position at a high level. And so, you know, I, I just try and challenge myself and stretch myself out in all three areas of those, all three areas of my game and the mental and, um, you know, the IQ approach and the physical approach and, and throwing the ball and obviously running the ball being the third one. Talk about how your body composition is different. Man, things just happen. Um, that just kind of happened, you know. Um, when I get into a mode of, of training, you know, it's not a specific body fat that I ask myself to be at or I demand of myself, but as long as I'm running good and I'm feeling good, um, eating good, you know, when you, when you usually put good things into the pot, you get a good result. And so that's what it was. This time last year, you gave the example of lemon water as a change you made. Is there any, at this time last year, you gave the example of lemon water as a change that you made. Are there any changes notable that you made this year? Nah, no, no change. <laughs> No train. A lot of crawfish. That's probably not a probably not a good one, but. Well, I think that's something. Um, you know, I think that's something that is a true testament to my my upbringing. So it's not a it's not anything that's necessarily new. Um, but I give a lot of credit to my parents and my father. Um, and, you know, I often talk about, you know, you guys may think it's dried out, but I, but I often talk about uh, the importance of being a coach's kid and what that means to me and how I was able to see things that not every other kid could see. And that, that, that itself has um, played a true role in my, a, a pivotal role in my, in my development as a player. Um, ever since the day I was five years old, wasn't even playing football at the time, just being around the game and learning and, and feeling the culture and, um, you know, learning what, um, you know, persistence look, looks like. I learned that at a, at a very young age. I can't. I don't think that matters. Sunday is the public practice. Yeah. More fans there. Last year they said half the birthday. You guys think the birthday is the day after this year. It is. How much are you looking forward to being in front of the fans and that public practice? Yeah, that's uh, it's always fun. It's always fun, and you know, to to get the fans in there and see them. Um, obviously we have fans coming in every day at practice, but to to get the to get the stadium back rocking and be back in the stadium um, is, is something to look forward to. Last year, it fell on my birthday. This year, it'll fall the day before, so it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a fun one. Hey, Jalen, you've had a year plus with AJ. What are you noticing about how the conversations are evolving? Yeah, AJ and I are, you know, he's a, he's a competitor. Um, he has the ultimate belief in himself. And rightfully so, because he works hard. And um, he's a physical specimen. Um, I mean, he's a special talent. He's a special talent. So, you know, the goal for us is to continue to grow, continue to find that new chemistry. Um, I think for us, you know, you, you know, you, you talk about any time you have success, you, you try and leave that as the foundation, right, as the new standard. So we just want to continue to grow. Hey, last one. What's it like having Mark Mariota with you? 
Um, it's, it's been really cool. It's been really cool, you know, being able to be around, um, even last year, uh, Gardner, and then, then um, Joe Flacco, um, and now having Marcus there and his experience and how he sees the game. I'm all for it because I'm a, I'm a sponge and I want to soak in that knowledge. I want to hear as many um, new and great ideas that I can so I can see what works for me. So the um, beauty about it is it's a room where everybody loves football and, um, you know, there's great conversations in there. And I know he's uh, been very supportive and um, very vocal in what he sees so far. Good afternoon. How are we doing? Good. Uh, this process been like for you, uh, you know, coming in, uh, obviously a new team, new offense, all that stuff. How, how has this process been? It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, going on in my ninth season, uh, it flies. It really does. And I think it's just a great opportunity for me to be around a great group of guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun getting to know them, building these relationships up. Um, just continuing to connect. And, um, you know, each and every single day, I just love coming out here and competing with these guys. Um, you know, I just try to do my part to make the team better. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, I've, this is going to be my eighth system <laughs> in nine seasons. So um, I feel like I've kind of gotten in a mode of learning. And um, it's really just learning the language and understanding how things want to be called how you want to get up and own the line of scrimmage, how you want to control that type of scenarios in those situations. Um, so I just kind of take it one day at a time. Um, I'm very fortunate enough to have a guy like Jalen that's been in this system for three years now and just ask him questions like, hey, you get this look, what are you doing? Are you getting out of it? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Um, so he's very knowledgeable and he's a great resource for me. And, you know, I just try to pay that forward, right? Um, you know, I've gone through a lot of experiences in my career and I just try to share all the knowledge that I have and just continue trying to make that room better. Um, I would say it's, it's fairly different and a lot of it comes down to, you know, how, how you want to go through your progressions, how you want to read this, what are we trying to attack? Um, so when it comes down to it, you know, there, there's only so many plays that you can do really, but it's learning how they want to do it, why they're doing it this way. Um, is kind of that learning mode and what you have to learn when you get to a new system. You mentioned that eight, eight, eight uh, systems in nine seasons. In a way, does that help you when you get to a new system to go and throw it so many times? Yeah, I, I think those previous experiences have helped me learn and kind of develop how, just really how I think, right? Like. Um, some guys are visual guys, some guys are rep guys, um, some guys are verbal and they just can talk through it. Um, so for me particularly, like I, I'm a big visual guy, so just drawing the plays out um, and then being able to communicate, getting in and out of stuff. So as I've gone through this process before, um, I just kind of lean on those, those things for me, uh, just because it works for me. Well, it starts with Jalen. Um, again, a guy that has played at a high level now um, consistently. And for, for him, I think he's gone through a lot in his short career. Um, I've gone through a lot. And just being able to come together and talk through scenarios, talk through situations, talk through why he sees a certain play this way or why I may see a certain play that way. Um, and I think all in all, when you're able to have those open lines of communication uh, and create that type of dialogue, it just makes the entire room better. Um, so. Just being able to lean on those experiences that I've had, um, just trying to help wherever I can. Um, but I think it's really cool to be able to have those types of conversations. Um, it's, it's first and foremost, it was a, a pleasure to do it. Um, the Netflix crew and the NFL Films crew were unbelievable. Um, truth be told, I, I actually haven't watched it. Um, I'm not big into watching myself, so I've, I've just stayed away from it. But a lot of family and friends have had a lot of high reviews for it. Um, and I think it's really cool to kind of share some spotlight on things that people don't see. Um, and Netflix has a pretty vast audience. And to be able to share football with people that maybe don't really pay attention to it, I think is a really cool opportunity. And just continue to grow the game. Um, you know, day in and day out, it is a hard process, and especially at this position. Um, so to be able to share what we do, I think was, was a really cool experience. 
basically in jail and kind of have similar playing styles and everything. How much do you, are you finding that you guys are helping each other out a lot? And, and is that different from your previous experiences with other teams, maybe? Not necessarily different. I, I really. I try to embrace whatever role that I have um, and just try to make the team better. And, you know, for me, the more that I communicate with Jalen, um, you know, even if he takes one nugget from all the time that we're together, that, that made him better. And that's really what I'm looking forward to doing. Um, you know, as I get older in my career, I just want to be a part of teams that want to win. And um, to see this atmosphere, to come out here and practice every day with these type of guys that, you know, are very focused and, and um, you know, determined to win uh, is really, really cool for me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's first and foremost, um, he's an incredible athlete. And then secondly, just from my experience being around other guys, um, he's very accurate, uh, especially moving around and um, creating plays. And this game is kind of that way now. You know, when I first got in the NFL, it was very, hey, you got to win from the pocket. You got to be able to hit your back foot and make your right reads. And I think now with how athletic quarterbacks are getting, um, it's really cool to see kind of how dynamic players can create plays. And he's, he's up there, man. You know, he, he makes unbelievable plays even in practice. Um, and it's, for me, it's just, it's a pleasure to watch. We're in the spot in. To work with in this offense, from line to depth and wide receivers, everything you have, not comparing to what you had in the past, but just in general, kind of what you see. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable, um, you know, and it's a credit to these guys because I think that's developed over time. I don't, I don't think you just wake up and you're just that guy, um, you know, and it's it's a credit to how these guys work, how they go about their business, how they want to come in and get better. Um, so yeah, it it's it's a special collection of talent and um, what's really even neat about it for me is that these guys aren't settled with that they want to continue to get better um, so for me that that wakes me up too like I got to come out here and, and get better and be the best that I can be so if you were in this spot last year or a couple years ago when the Raiders as the backup what'd you learn from that that can take here and how does that help you keep doing that before? Yeah, I, it really comes down to just being another ear and a, another pair of eyes for the guy that's playing. Um, you know, you always have to be ready just in case um, your moment comes up. But I think it's too hard to sit here and butt heads with your quarterback group. Um, you know, I really believe that when you have a strong quarterback group that really relies on one another and supports one another, um, you create confidence within that group that really just helps the entire team out. So. Uh, for me, I, I really try to embrace that. I try to just be that guy for Jalen um, and just lean on experiences that I've had that hopefully he can learn from and he can take something from it. Is it easier doing it now than in, when you first started out in, in the Raiders since you've gone through it once? Um, I mean, I've, I've been through it even in, in the high school, right? Like I, there was a guy in front of me in high school that was all state and I just kind of had to wait my turn. So um, I've been in this position before and um, you know, again, you just try to be the best teammate that you can be. Um, at the end of the day, what matters most is the guy that's pulling the trigger feels great and he feels confident. Um, and at the end of the day, we're winning games. I'm sorry? What's your, first, I'm sorry? what's your view of how the first week has gone for you? Uh, it's been good. There's been good plays. There's also been some bad ones, but that's all right. Uh, I'm growing every single day. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of learning to begin in, in this system and trying to be able to command and um, you know, just own it at the line of scrimmage. So, um, you know, and that's, that's what practice is for. It, it's really just to go out there and make mistakes so that when you get to the games, you feel confident in what you're doing. Marcus, what's something you've learned about Jalen that you could only learn by being around him all the time? He's an old soul. Uh, he, he loves, you know, old music, um, which for me, it's not really that old, but like he, he enjoys it, right? And I think that's really cool about him. He's, he's a very interesting guy in that sense. Um, he loves what he loves, and he, he's a hard worker, man. Um, he's one of the guys that's here first. He's always last out the door. Um, and that's a credit to him, and I think that's why he's, he's had a special se couple seasons, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does this year. You've seen a lot of offensive coordinator styles in this past decade. What's distinctive about Brian Johnson? Um, I think he really plays to our strengths at, at the quarterback position. Um, when you're able to do that and your quarterback is playing with confidence, man, you can 
convert some crazy third downs. You can get into situations where you're scoring 30, 40 points a game. So when you got the guy that's pulling the trigger, that's very, very confident. Um, you know, I think especially with what Brian does and, and how he gets us communicating in that room, um, it's, it's really cool, and I think it'll be fun to watch. Running the ball has always been one of your skill sets. You're nine years in the league now. Is that still so comfortable running the football? I know the Eagles do a lot of it, but <laughs> nine years is a Yeah, for sure. Um, maybe, maybe lost a step here and there, um, but that's all right. I, I enjoy it too, man. Um, the more that at the quarterback position you can be dynamic and creative and allow these guys to make plays um, is really fun to be a part of. Perspective. Um, it's it's been very fun for me to come off a uh, hard practice and my wife and my little girls there. Um, so it, it's really special for me. And at the end of the day, good practice, bad practice. She has no idea. So like, it's cool to be able just to spend time with them and. Like I said, it's just a lot of perspective, and um, that's what life's about, is to be able to just enjoy those moments with your family. Marcus, you're a long way from the, the island. What do you think of the city so far? Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, the, the fans, the people, uh, very welcoming to my family and I. Um, it is pretty far, um, but at the same time, I think for me, what's really cool about it is it's a very tight-knit community that's, um, you know, that's gritty and, and loves kind of that blue-collar mentality. and. Um, you know, growing up in Hawaii, like, we kind of had that mentality ourselves. Like, we're, we're the only thing, you know, west of California that, you know, people don't really ever talk about. So for me to be a part of something like this in Philadelphia where, you know, there is that little bit of grit, there's a little bit of that chip on your shoulder, um, you know, I love it. How do you think uh, camp has been going for you so far five days now? Going pretty good, getting the reps in, um, getting the defense down, learning new techniques. So. How do you think chemistry's been with uh, Nicole? We're pretty good, man. Getting in the meeting rooms, uh, talking through certain things, talking through certain looks, getting on the same page with certain um, combinations as far as route, route combinations, stuff like that. So that's always good. You said Christian Ellison here, too. Uh, you know, he's still kind of making the transition from you know, being special teams to being, playing a role on defense. How has he done? How, what have you seen? He's playing well. I mean, shoot, the first day he had a pick. Um, he had a really good job yesterday with some of the run fits. Um, he had a play today where uh, I think she recalled it, he punched it out, so he's had a good good count. Yeah. So you expecting this type of rotation at linebacker rolling camp? I expect anything. Um, that's the NFL. It's competition, that's how the, that's how it works. That's, that's part of core values here. Um, so that doesn't surprise me at all. What does it take to be the starter? I mean that's a question for the head coach, right? That's not that's not my it's out of my control. I only that control is going out there every day competing and getting better by one percent each day. But the rest of that stuff I can't control. What's the best way to describe the size system? Say it one more time. What's the best way to describe the size system? Uh, how do I put it? I mean, it's, it's, it's man match. Uh, so a lot of what we do is tight coverage as far as when we're in our zones um, and we try to do a good job of disguising. So that's part of kind of the identity of his defense. How much did you play in coverage last year in Chicago? How much did I play in coverage last year? Did you play a lot of Oh, uh, I mean, we, you mean what do you mean exactly? Your coverage skills. Like, how are you in coverage? How am I in coverage? Um, so I mean, I came in the league. I played safety in college, right? So a lot of what I did was was a lot of man in college. Um, last year we did a lot of uh, Tampa two and a little bit of Hawk three, where we played in you know landmarks and zones. So I'm comfortable in whatever system it is. As a veteran player. Oh, it's nice. I mean, you know, we get a lot of time off, but with that, it's a lot of mental preparation, right? So they throw a lot of different looks at you, walk through, or whatever that may be. So that's kind of part of it, but it's kind of nice to be able to take the load off your body and, and recover and, and, and get ready for the next day. You've had to cover a lot of running backs so far during this training camp. What have you seen from them? What pressure do you see or challenges do you see for the Um, I think we got some really good scat backs. I think, you know, one, I, even when I played DeAndre last year when he was in Detroit, um, he's a very good player in space. And so, you know, even if you try to close the space, he does a good job of kind of setting you up. So DeAndre is very dangerous with, with his route running, but he's a very, you know, dynamic player in space. Uh, Kenny does a good job of setting his option routes up. Um, Boston, too. I mean, I think I can go down the line. It's a lot of them, they, they run really good routes. 
Um, and the scheme does a good job of getting them in space where they can kind of work and get those one-on-one -on -one looks. And so, I mean, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to game plan when you have to game plan to cover five, right, five out. And you can do that when you have a great offensive line like we do. And so that, that always presents a challenge because now, you know, instead of you getting, you know, double teams on maybe uh, AJ and, and Devontae, you kind of got to use that guy on a on the running back because, you know, he's, he can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And so that kind of helps open up the offense for those guys for sure. How, how dynamic the offense is? Yeah, yeah. Um, compared against going against them last year? Yeah. I mean, they were dynamic against us last year, too. So, um, I, I think one thing going against them is, like, they'll come out and give you the same formation, and you'll anticipate the play, and then the next play is a totally different play. They do a really good job of that. I think that's, that's one thing that you always got to play your keys. You can't really anticipate based on formation. There's no real tendency because um, they break them. So that's one. Well, I mean, you got to be honest, right? So you can't, you know, certain certain times in the games, maybe you game plan, like let's say you have a coverage and it doesn't look very good against this play they have. Um, so you may add a special rule and then they come out and they do something totally different. So now it puts stress on you as a, well, the play caller more importantly, but also as a player because now you got to play a little more honest and kind of go back to what, what people call training camp rules, just like chalkboard and how you installed it the first day. Hey, how you doing? I'm Christian, good. Just how different has this training camp been for you, getting the opportunity with the first team defense? You know, it's been a huge blessing. You know, all glory to God. Um, you know, my first year in the league, I was bouncing around from team to team, you know, through a lot of hard work and through a lot of gifts that God's given me. Um, I've been able to work, and thankfully the coaches have been great. Um, I have amazing teammates, so they make my job easier. And it's been a lot of fun this training camp. Saw the potential in you to develop you. You went from the practice squad to getting time last year, become a core member of special teams, to now having a chance to help run the defense. And you know, um, you know, I appreciate our old coaches, Nick and Gannon. You know, they kind of helped me develop into what I am now. And then this Cy and DJ right now are helping me continue it. Um, there's still a lot I got to do to grow. Um, there's still a lot I got to do. Uh, to earn my time and to be able to help this team. Um, that's the that's my only goal, is to be able to help the team any way I can. How much does it help you to get on to some special teams last year, you know, in terms of, you know, knowing, hey, I can play here on the confidence line? Yeah, it was everything. Um, you know, I, I think it was only by God's grace that, you know, I was able to play against the Titans. And, you know, that game kind of set this all in motion and, um, you know, luckily, I've been, just been preparing with Clay, with Joe P, um, a lot of our coaches who, you know, have faith in me. And so they put me out there, and luckily I was able to help, you know. But I'm only one one brick in the whole wall of guys, you know. I'm only one part of it. So without them, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. It wasn't a long offseason program, but the days were there. You had interceptions each day. How did you come out of the offseason program feeling about your standing on the team? You know, um, you're never given another day on this earth. You're never given a, another breath, another second. Every get, everything is a gift. Um, so I just took it as one day at a time, one step at a time, and that's how I treated it. You know, I, I wasn't thinking anything of it really. I was thinking a, it was a, a play, and you know, luckily I've been able to get into film, help myself. But um, you know, I didn't I didn't treat it any different than any other off season. Is it relief here because you had a better chance? Um, you know, I, I, I honestly, really, I didn't think anything of it. In this offseason, I was training, hanging out with my family, playing some pickleball, you know, just having a little bit of fun, enjoying my time with them. I wasn't thinking about, oh, I could start, I could do all these things, you know, because I never know, you know, you never know. Now that you're here, I mean, do you think that's a legitimate possibility for you? You know, if it's in God's will, you know, um, I'm in God's hands. I. You know, I, we have some great people in our room, guys who ball. You know, you guys have been making plays all camp. So, you know, as long as I do my stuff and as long as I put my first foot forward, then, you know, we'll see what happens. Are you a better player now than you were this time last year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, comfort. Comfort. Uh, last year, you know, I, I felt like I was tiptoeing, you know. Um, I felt like I was still getting used to being here in the NFL. Um, 
But every day that goes by, every week, every year, you know, I just get more comfortable. The game's slowing down. So it's, it's been helpful. You know, I still have a long ways to go. You know, I want to be the, one of the best. I want to be one of the greats. But, you know, it, it starts with today. It starts with this next step. What is it about this scheme that allows you to take advantage of the athletic abilities that you bring to the field? Clarity. Um, at he, our jobs are set before us before we know, you know, before we even get to the field, you know. I got to know my job, I got to do my job, you know, and knowing what the guy is doing next to me also helps. So Desai is very clear in what he wants us to do, so that helps a lot. It seems like watching just from the sideline, you do a pretty good job of passing. Do you feel like, you know, your coverage skills are, you know, something that might set you apart? Yeah, um, you know, I, I've been working on it a lot. Um, this off season, so uh, it's, I feel like it's something I've gotten a lot more comfortable with. Um, I still have a lot to learn, a lot to do. You know, I still gotta work my feet, work my hands, work my eyes. Um, you know, because those things can get you into trouble in coverage. So it's still a lot to work at, but um, you know, I am pleased with how I am this year versus last year. How special is this for you with your brother? You know, dealing with the injury all last season, yep. both of you now in camp, you know, yeah. getting a chance to compete. How, how special is that? How has that helped both of you at the end of the yeah. day? No, I, I love Fui to death. Um, Fui is his middle name, middle name. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, Noah is, Noah is, he's my brother. I love him dearly. You know, I'm so excited that I get to play with him. You know, every day before practice, we take time to pray together. You know, just pray for our bodies, pray for the team, pray for, um, you know, the city. So, you know, it, it's special. It's special. I'm so happy that I get to play with them again. You know, I played with them in high school, in college, and now in the NFL. So not many guys can say they did that, and I'm lucky to be one of them. You mentioned special teams earlier and uh, getting that experience. How does that translate now to when you're on the field? I think it translates to everything because it builds confidence, you know, um, being able to be on the special teams and knowing my role, doing my job, you know, every day it kind of builds my confidence and it built my confidence working with Clay, Joe P, and it kind of carried over to defense. Yeah.